Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today is a little bit different because I wanna show you guys how I count macros. So what macronutrients are is it's carbohydrates, fats, and protein. But the reason I count it that way is because you get a more accurate calculation than just counting what's on the back of a bag of chips. I'll show you. So here I have one of my husband's uh, bag of sour cream and onion chips. And so on the back of the chip bag, it says 28 grams or 20 chips. So and 28 grams or 20 chips would be 150 calories. And it would be nine grams of fat, 15 grams of carbs, and then two grams of protein. So the reason I do what I do instead of doing the 20 chips, I count the 28 grams. So what I suggest doing is if you're interested in counting macros, the thing that is going to be your best friend with counting macros is a scale. Now this has been old faithful to me because I have used this scale since I started counting macros. This is, was the first scale. And honestly, I haven't changed the batteries yet. I'll put the Amazon link in the description so you can get it because I've been using this thing over a year now and I've yet to change the batteries. But if I turn it on, I can choose the unit. It's a digital scale. I can choose the unit. It's because I'm holding it. Hold on. So I can choose the unit and then with the unit, it I can change it to to milliliters, um, ounces, or grams. And so I wanna keep it at grams. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a bowl of cereal because honestly, I really want I really want a bowl of cereal and I'll show you what it looks like in a sense, right? So I'm gonna use a few different scenarios. So um, I'm gonna use Reese's Puff cereal and we're gonna take a look at the contents all right so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to measure out one cup as compared to 39 grams so on the back of this nutrition label you'll see that a serving size is one cup or 39 grams the grams is on the scale right and then it says that 39 grams is 170 or one cup it says rough measurement is 170 calories 30 grams of carbs, 4.5 grams of fat, and three grams of protein. So let's see if one cup equals 39 grams. So I'm gonna show you what happens, why I count the actual grams instead of the measurement. So here I have a cup, and here I have my Reese's Puffs. Okay, so I'm gonna measure a cup my Reese's Puffs in the back for scenic views. Okay, so here's my cup of Reese's. Remember, I said 39 grams should equal one cup, okay? Dang, I'm good at this, okay. I measured my one cup, I'll show you. So the cup that I measured is 45 grams. So if I were to just take a measuring cup and measure that cup out, I would be a little bit over what my calories should be for that. And so I would, instead of taking the actual cup size, I would take the 39 grams or however many grams I put in. And so I would actually measure that out instead of just, hey, here's a cup, because cup measurements are subjective, right? Some people would say, well, that's not, that's a little more than a cup. Some people would say that's a perfect cup. Some people, you know, would level it out. Some people, you know, wouldn't level it out. And so some people would just scoop and whatever, you know, protein is a good example. On the back of protein, it says a, a rounded scoop, right? And so rounded scoop is subjective, right? So my rounded scoop would probably be different than your rounded scoop. That's how I count macros. That's how I, I measure my food. And then what I do is uh, I've done it before, but I'll go ahead and put in the link of uh, this guy's name is Jordan Syatt and he, uh, helps you count. He, he has this video where he helps you kind of figure out your macros. You need, you know, this many carbs, this much protein, um, you know, this many grams of fat. And he helps you figure that out. 
and then after you figure it out and you have your calories and everything and then you can just measure now i will tell you that it can be time consuming counting macros can absolutely be time consuming i mean look i mean you have to measure everything out i mean there are protein bars i'll show you another one protein bars are a great example hold on so one of my favorite protein bars is called built bars um i just you you order them online but they're amazing so this one is a pumpkin chocolate chip cookie and if you know me you know i had to get it because it says pumpkin i love pumpkin so pumpkin chocolate chip cookie on on the label it says that one bar is 49 grams okay one bar is supposed to be 49 grams i'm not gonna open it the package maybe is like less than a gram it's maybe a gram it's really not that heavy so i'm actually going to show you the differences between the protein bars so all of the nutrition labels say the same thing right 49 grams this one is 67 grams this one is 66 grams and this one is 51 grams all of these protein bars even though the nutrition labels say the same thing they all weigh different amounts so on the back of this you know it says oh you're eating 130 calories of, of protein well i'm i'm eating way more if i eat these two bars and i'm eating almost double of what the nutrition label says on these two bars this one feels heavier let me see this one again so 66 grams so i'm eating i mean almost probably a little over one and a half protein bars and so what i'm thinking i'm eating on the back of the nutrition label is 130 calories i'm really eating like 190 100 almost 200 calories of of this thinking it's 130 and so that's how tracking actual calories um instead of macros it's just a miscalculation so what you think you're tracking um is actually more and so that's why i count macros because so I think I'm tra tracking 130 calories here, but the reality is I'm really eating almost 200, maybe a little more than that calories with this protein bar, thinking I'm eating 130 calories. So I do that thinking, okay, I'm eating 14, 15, 16, 1700 calories a day, depending on your stats, your weight, your height, all that stuff. And if I eat a protein bar, if I you know, mismeasure my cereal, mismeasure chips, I'm now out of a deficit. I, I can be now out of a deficit because how you lose fat is being in a calorie deficit. I, now I've eaten a couple things, now I'm over my deficit and now I'm wondering why I'm not losing body fat. And that's why. So that's why I use my little handy dandy scale um, to weigh my food. And with that, in a year, like I said, I've never gone below 1700 calories. I don't believe I honestly now weighing everything don't know how there was a point in my life where I actually thought I was eating 1200 calories because I feel like I am dying of hunger um, if I'm only eating 1200 calories. I get super hungry and I start to binge to be honest and I start to I can't get food in my mouth fast enough if I'm not eating enough food. And so, and with counting macros, um, you know, there's going to be times where you go out to a restaurant and what's really cool now is so many restaurants have their nutritional values on their menus, or you can look it up online. And if you can't find it online, there's always a restaurant out there that is comparable to that. So you kind of get an idea and that way you can kind of stay, you know, within your calorie bank in a sense of how you want to spend those calories because it's not necessarily, oh, if I eat broccoli all day, I'm going to lose weight. Or if I eat, you know, chicken and rice and broccoli all day, I'm going to lose weight because you could be overeating in that area. And while, yes, you're eating things that are nutrient dense, you could be overeating and not losing that weight. Or you can still eat those things and you can fit pizza in your diet. You can fit like me, pumpkin pie or cake in your diet and still be able to have those things uh, that you enjoy. And like I said before, I don't have a cheat day. I don't have a day where I cheat. If I want pizza or if I know I'm gonna eat pizza on a Thursday, if I know I'm gonna eat pizza on a Tuesday, the rest of the day, I'll try to eat 
as many nutri nutrient dense foods as I can. So, you know, for breakfast, I'll probably eat spinach and eggs. Uh, for lunch, I'll probably eat some chicken or tuna or um, super easy things that I can that I can you know grab and eat and measure. Mainly one ingredient things because if you're measuring food, the best thing to do is get the things that don't aren't as time consuming. Like if I'm eating broccoli, I can measure broccoli. If I'm eating rice, I could just measure rice. If I'm eating um, chicken or meat, I can just measure meat. And I don't have to, I don't count my spices, you know, if I'm if I'm seasoning something. And so I can eat those things and then okay, I've eaten, you know, seven, eight, nine hundred calories, and with that extra eight or nine seven or eight hundred calories that I have left, I know I can have three slice two or three slices of pizza, and I'm still within my I'm still in a calorie deficit. And so the goal is to not necessarily you know, say I need to super restrict myself and I need to eat as clean as possible because I think we've been taught that so much, especially like I said before with like this diet culture is that we have to eat these things. And if we eat pizza, then we have to work out for an hour to make sure that we burn it off and we shouldn't have to do that. And it helps for me anyway, it helped me build a good relationship with food back because I didn't have to think that, okay, I need to eat, if I eat this pizza or if I eat this meal or if I have a piece of cake, I need to go and do an hour of cardio. No, my body was made to be fueled. And yeah, if I have a pizza or two in a day, guess what? I eat a pizza or two and that's completely fine. And I shouldn't have to beat myself up for that. So if anything too, macros really just help me have a better relationship with food. So I hope that helps. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below if you need something. Just to explain a little more, uh, let me know. Um, I'm gonna eat these Reese's Puffs because I need to get some carbs in before my half marathon. Yeah, if you have questions, drop them below, let me know. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for tuning in and liking and subscribing. You guys are the best. I holla.